making more money. Just sitting on stacks on stacks on stacks. Installs over each queue to set up a tower there. See, now this makes me think more and more that in that road, that's contract killers. Pretty I actually didn't uh, see when he installed it. He's showing the score. She's not scoring it. If it's a gen date, he's scoring it. Just going for the kill. Checks out archives. Sees the NAPD. Sure, He's got to pay for it. Uh oh. And Ben Pico's on the board. Rather than film printing, he's going to pay for it like a chump. Congratulations, Ben. That's the old fashioned way of stealing agendas. I think I see a quality time in Ben's hand. I always uh, hoped they would make an ID based on quality time where it's the uh, that cute couple there and they're like, uh, they run together. I was going to say, if you want an ID that's based on the card, her name's Andromeda. <laughs> that's your quality time ID right So R and D still sitting unrezzed. Oh. Okay. It scores out the NAPD. Why that took so long, I'm not entirely sure, but... I guess <laughs> Ben, uh, he felt secure with Ben not having enough money. Alex Black now at four points. Ben Finkel diesels, digs for some more cards. Well, I guess he, what's interesting, I don't know what his uh, tag punch, or his tagging tech card is, Alex. Because he could have atlas for it there. I mean, Ben was low and Alex has tons of money. If it was a mid-season, it's pretty easy mid-season. And Ben Finkel, lucky find, so jumps up to 15 credits now, closing the money gap. Yep. Yep. Sure gambles. 19 credits. Alex Black draws into another score, sure. Courtesy of the Uncle's Games hand cams. Oh, oh, town! Oaktown Renovation, if you're not familiar with the agenda, install face up. I did. No. And you gain uh, two credits, every damage is advanced. Yep. Three credits, it's got five more. Yeah, you're really right. It feels so weird, though. <laughs> the agenda that gives back. Weird, yeah. It is such a good agenda. It forces the run to deal with it. Ben is sitting on a ton of money now, though, so. Alex hoping he can keep him out. So given his amount of money and his breaker suite, is there any way he doesn't get into that remote? He's got no way really. Depends what type. If it's a if it's a big sentry on the outside. Uh, so if it's neb uh, like nebula or something like that. He's gonna need more than uh, data. Support. Yeah, he needs more data. Support. You know, archives is open. So Oak Town's getting renovated. Ben looking to put a stop to these renovation shenanigans. Yeah. Wants it the way it is. Well, yeah, the other thing is if I... Uh, well, it depends. <laughs> if Alex scores out here, he can Atlas for Hostile and try and score that out. And just hope that Ben's not playing Claude, which is probably untrue. <laughs> he does see Claude. Desiree is, I believe that is a Nebula. That means he has to... He'll have to clone chip out his Sharpshooter. I think he has it. Tell me, tell me about this uh, nebula. Uh, so it's a five strength sentry that trashes a program. So it's like a five strength. Well, so it's like Grim, except the you advance it to reduce the res cost by three. So printed cost is nine, but you use counters to reduce it. So oh boy! Oh, we got Janus. What's gonna happen? Oh fuck yeah! I'm excited. Steals Oaktown, it does not get renovated much to the public's dismay. We're at four points, and this is where Kate starts coming back. Get set up, get her money cards now, has her most of her suite out. That's not looking good for Alex Black, I'd say. He was sitting in such a strong position, this was not scored. 
Bounce back, Janus. The other thing with the space ice that's kind of weird in Blue Sun is because the counter has reduced the res cost, it sort of works against the ability, I think, in some sense. Because now he's only going to get six yeah, credits. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't want to bounce back a, uh, a cheaper piece of ice. Close this out. Looks his archive, counting influence. He has not really seen anything but that Janus. Got us to be in Jack. Poke at that upside down card in archives. I think he's just looking at the face up. Then it's out. It's out of his turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> thinking what his line is going to be. Both sitting on a decent amount of money. Ben sitting on 12 credits. Alex sitting on 17, it looks like. 15, maybe? So that's 15. I think I'll go ahead and Diesel's. Gets a Stimag. Second pre okay. which is not bad when he goes through the deck a second time <laughs> with Levy. Holding his cards up by space, so we cannot see them. <laughs> the uncle's hand cams are not. Happy. Checks just, out R and D. Just a normal R and D run. It's a classic R and D run. Well, he has to get rid of the Chrissy and Brady, I guess, before he wants to make his eye. Right, there's spider webs. He's got plenty to deal with that. Prepaid. Megan Ben Finkel burn some money. Could be part of Ben's plan. Does have a stim back on hand, giving the corp that false sense of security. Oh, you know, I actually think that's Wormhole. Now that I see the seven string. In which case, that's why I was wondering why he paid to break it. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Break that with one, two. So right. is a stim hack a, a relatively common addition these days, or is that going to come as a surprise to Alex? No, no, that's, <laughs> that's pretty standard in the key deck now. Here's a wonderful splash. So I can see those. Wormhole because of the giant yellow dice on it. I always loved splashing. Uh, we got the sea source. Takes one tag, it's a double scorch. Well, he tastes his own medicine. I actually bench it at one less card anyway because of the brain damage. And that is it? Yep. That is game! Yeah. Alex so Black yeah. rescorching Ben Finkel! Four, that matter. Oh, that's no, I mean, like, on my runner. Oh, yeah. No, that doesn't matter. We're not doing a game. mutual scorching yeah, in this no match. Yeah, Joe, I do your believe. Dream, your dream matchup, Joe, with yeah. double scorching. <laughs> so, since this is a interesting little thing they're doing, they're going to have a little playoff here where they're going to roll to see what identities they play. So, we'll have one more match for you guys between Ben Finkel and Alex Black for all the marbles. I guess. Uh, I roll again for choice? No, I think for this one it should just be for uh, casual first. No. So, even I corp on Is that cool? Yeah. I did not hear the roll off. I believe. You just card more Wait. cards uh, from your hand than you have in your hand. You have flat lines. The corp has killed you. Killed you dead. So Cascade Collective coming at you live and direct uh, I win by from the tabletop room at PAX Prime next year. See us at the Twitch booth. Just, just believe. That's the most unenthusiastic plug I've ever heard. Are you a robot, Scott Sylvie? What are you talking about? I'm trying to uh, cultivate a personality. Uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but. I'm going to get some advice uh, from Frodan tomorrow. Frodan? Who's Frodan? Main office says no oh, he's, a, he's a very popular streamer these days. Started with uh, Starcraft, now he does Hearthstone. I'll reserve my public comments on Hearthstone. So we're going to be switching sides again. One game at a time. One game at a time. <laughs> ben Finkel 
busting out his harp score at Butcher Shop again. And Alex switching back to another Kate Mac. <laughs> Kate <laughs> Mac is the NBN of runners <laughs> nowadays. Why can't it be like... But I am excited to see Harp scored in action. New ID from the latest data pack, Old Hollywood. Why can't the runner take three? And yeah, it's an interesting one. I need to play for, for Butcher Shop. I mean, on the one hand, you sort of protect yourself against early leg works and medium digs and things like that, uh, which was good last time we played this matchup a few, you know, about an hour ago. On the other hand, NEH just draws you into the combo pieces so quickly that uh, I think it might be more consistent. I'm not sure I don't play much Butcher Shop myself. So this harpster core looks like is that uh, what does that do for you? Oh, uh, so that's the runner can't score more than one agenda. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Assuming Alex is playing, if he's playing film critic, I think that makes his life a lot easier. That might be what he's digging for now. <laughs> Dirty Londi's archives for that big money. Anonymous tip, card you don't see too much nowadays. Makes me happy. What a tour. It's like you got some data rate with the way of wraparound. Yeah, wraparound and astro. So he's going to try and score the astro behind that data raven. Looks like I think I saw a sports stress in there. Raj, Scott, you guys are in commentary duties. I have to go do some logistical stuff. Okay. No problem. We'll hold on before. All right, Raj, you. Uh, you tell them what's happening, and I will. Uh, I will sit quietly. Sure, <laughs> I think Alex is drawing a couple of times. Uh, there. issue that Ben <laughs> can, it's, can score breaking news oh, of course. and Scorch in the same turn. Uh, although, I mean, Alex could probably just play Clot to prevent that. Now tell me about this uh, Clot. Oh, okay. Oh, the, Scott here. <laughs> uh, so Clot is this virus that uh, that prevents the Corp from scoring an agenda the same turn they install it. Oh, so, right, right. So it blocks yes. all fast events. I remember uh, reading that on the internet once. Oh, uh, yeah, Ben supported actually. So he has two points. So ben has that breaking news behind the data rating, which is prime combo ca uh, territory. data sucker, so I guess he could uh, install the data sucker, start mining those, then he could run behind that data raven and just um, clear the tag. As long as he breaks the sub, that's that's what's critical, I think, to get through that server. The other thing is, I mean, Kate now plays one parasite, so if you just go through data raven once, then you parasite to death. That's not so bad. Ooh, 
Ben pitching a ton of agendas. And aside from the uh, fiery death, are <laughs> there any other uh, ways that, uh, uh, any other cards that Ben has that would punish tags? No, I, well, I don't know. He might be playing a one of close accounts or one of psychographics. It's not unreasonable, but I think it's pretty uncommon in close butcher shot. Fair enough. Uh, did Alex just score that? Yeah, Alex just scored the breaking move on the Gator Raven. It looks like he's tagged. I guess I can't tell. I think, at, uh, I think he paid to, to beat the trace, but then didn't clear the tag from the Gator Raven. We do have a tag, we have a run last turn, so I guess those two scorches in Ben's hand are available. I guess I he was safe, because ben, ben only had three credits. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. safe from double scorch, and he's safe from scorch traffic accident, because he only had one tag. Um, so Scott, I'm not sure if you know that traffic accident, it's, uh, if you have two tags, it does two meat damage. All right. It's just a, it's a zero cost event. So it's like a mini scorch, but you have to have two tags. So mm -hmm. against mid-season, it's not a problem, because you usually give them 10 million tags. I love that, uh, that theming on Traffic Accident. I like uh, bringing uh, real-world events into the game. Uh, well, you think the punishment's a little disproportionate for Traffic Accident versus Scorcher. It's like one tag, you blow up the entire city. Two tags, you just make them, you know, get into a fender bender. Oh, well, a lethal fender bender. <laughs> I like to think that the, the Scorched Earth, you're blowing up maybe maybe a building or maybe a building in an annex, maybe, you know. <laughs> um, maybe a city block. You know, the, uh, to, to do a targeted uh, car accident, make it look, make it look like an accident. That that requires some extra information. That requires some more, some more legwork. Oh, so pitches data sucker. Okay. Two tags, not unreasonable. That kind of job. I think is that a second data sucker? I think he put in front there. Times into Astrolabe and a bunch of events. There's Jerry a Laundry. diesel. Oh, some econ there. It's not bad. But well, he doesn't really need it. I mean, he has 19 to six. Short on econ. Um, second click. Actually, we're gonna short it. Yeah, so it's another data raven. Oh no, is that two very sad restructures? It is two very sad. Two restructures? I think so. Looks like he's running through and then just uh, beating up the traces. Uh, he has two. He has two tags. He needs a. He has two more clicks, I think. Oh, he has one more click left? He should definitely clear one of the tags. 
now with those two restrictions in hand, now at 10 credits, Ben is about to uh, become quite wealthy. If he so chooses. Oh, that was the first quarter. was it? Still would include a tag there, but to at least prevent the traffic accident from working. Because the one thing that Butcher Shop can do is, because uh, I mean, it plays usually six different, uh, maybe five, five or six, depending on. Well, Harp Support only has 15 of them, so usually three Scorches, three traffic accidents, that's six different meat damage cards. So one flat screen doesn't save you, it just sort of delays your death. Sure, sure. So that's why you need to be able to play around it, so you need to clear the tags. Ben's dumped a bunch in there. I think he. I think Alex needs to probably try and check our guys at some point. Is there anything face down in our guys? Yeah, there's a lot. All that, that, that Ben's looking at. That's, oh, I've seen. It's like ten cards. So I think Alex needs to do that because otherwise R and D is a little too. Uh, the density is too too low right now. Ben is in a really good position. He has enough two Astros and two counters. Oh my, yes. On, on the other hand, I don't think he's playing Beals, which means uh, his fascinating strategy is a little bit hurt. But, you know, he does play Breaking News. So, like, he can, he'll be able to score Breaking News out of hand, and then next turn he's two counters to score Exploit a Palooza or something out of hand. Uh, could he be uh, running another... Uh, yeah, the breaking news. We'll do some shenanigans yep. with the scoreboard, possibly. He's in a really tough spot. I don't know, this is one of the hard things about Butcher Shop. Ah, so he is running, he is running archives, that's good. It's good to suggest he do that, try and load up R&D. I think at this point you might just want to start going tag me um, and just hit R&D. Uh, the problem, I guess, against heart support is you have that situation where you can't score more than one. Uh, actually, I guess at this point he's going to score one of his agendas. There's no point to even hit R&D. 
that was, you know. Yeah, so I think in this case, you should put the Explorer Palooza onto film credit. But no, you should put the... Oh, I guess I don't know. Well, yeah, so he puts Explorer Palooza, so he's going to take the two tags from TGP. Uh, so you can score one of those. Uh, actually, yeah, wait, he scores the, yeah, he scores that, then he uses two clicks to move Explorer Palooza off, and he should win. Oh, he doesn't have two clicks. Okay. He knows where those are now. Yeah. Behind one little pop-up window. All right, what a miss, guys. Five yeah, four. So Alex, Alex hit archives. He, uh, I think he has Exploda Palooza on Film Critic, and he has five points. So assuming he survives this next turn, he wins. But I guess yeah, I guess Ben can kill the Film Critic. There's not that. That's pretty. Yeah, I guess that's awesome. Yeah, he could just. Uh, yeah. No, right, I forget the Film Critic's are yeah. <laughs> We're getting his revenge. Like he dropped one tag. Doing some math, uh, doing some counting. What you gonna do, Ben Finkel? Can you he pull it off? Also, Ben, if he gets a mid-seasons off, which he should, then you'll be able to win. Well, I don't know, because uh, of the class streak there, that complicates things quite a lot. I don't know if he was just the tag if I hadn't already gone through it. Like, all right. Um, On the other hand, I mean, he's going to draw into more meat damage. Awesome. So, I mean, yeah, if he mid seasons sure. now, it's probably okay. Uh, Fires off the first Scorched Earth. Okay. Fires off the second Scorched Earth. Like one card left in Alex's uh, hand. And trash is film critic. There you go. <laughs> Still should be game next yeah. turn anyway. Unless that is a Jackson. Is that a Jackson that remote? No, that's explodable loose, I think. Two down. So do we go we do play another match. No, that's it. That is it? And Alex Black yeah. takes it. Yeah. Ben Finkel, nothing he can do but yeah. steal those agendas and archives. Yeah, let me hop up. I am up in Good games, boys. We have one more pairing after this. This should be the finals. Thank you all for tuning in here at Pat's Prime in Seattle, Washington. I kind of missed out. On this Sunday evening, Sunday night for some of you guys. Sun's still shining on the West Coast as much as it does in Seattle. It is a little rainy today. We missed the rain a bit. Scott Silby and Raj Geary joining us here. Say hello, gentlemen. Hey. Right. I'm going to take this break between uh, now and our next match to learn some of the new cards. You take a break. You deserve it. Uh, I am out. Uh, so, so, um, May, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, earlier, um, I was a couple tables down. I mean, yeah, I haven't played in a while, but I may very well be back. He had an agenda in installed for like six turns. Was that Rush? Yeah. And he didn't have the credits to rest it, but, he, but he, to win the game, he just flips it over. Yeah. Unhappy like, oh, Yak. I like that name. I don't know why. It makes me laugh. That was the game. Yeah. Like, sometimes, uh, the other thing was that the turn was going to break into. And this round will start very shortly. The other game just got, is just winding down. These guys will be winding down, <laughs> but we'll get back into it. Thank but you again for tuning in. Traffic accident. Friend of mine. Yeah, that's a good Two tag. Tags. Thank you. Yeah, there's some things I still want to change. I basically, I'm sort of toying around with casting call. Uh, and with, uh, I like that garbage. Casting call is really cool. Like, imagine going through a casting call through that server. Like, come on. It's not going to happen. We're going to get past. Haven't found room for it yet? Or? No, I have it in there. Oh, cool. uh, I just keep on discarding it. There's been a couple games where I was like, I'm going to casting call this turn. And then, you know, like, to get some points. <laughs> Dude, the card is, I, it's, it's really solid. I mean, the yeah. fact that you can dump everything in archives. Yeah. It's so fun. <laughs> and like, <laughs> too good to be true and Exploda Palooza yeah. are just. Exploda Palooza is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I just bought, well, I just got a lot of it here. So I'm, yeah. I think now that I've played you yeah. <laughs> and played that deck, I'm definitely building that. It's real fast. Too. I, yeah. I finished all my corp games, except for that one, and like yeah. inside of 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, that, I like that. Well, Ben, right? Yeah. Okay. See you around. Yeah, see you, dude. Come to Reagan. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Tuesday nights. Yeah. What time? 
Jen, is it, it's like, I'm trying to keep them in the cameras, everything like in the playbooks. Right? Gotcha. I'll try to keep them in one of the corners. I'm, I do. Ter I am sorry about the dice. It's like if I knew, I would have been worried about getting something better. Looking. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> I was laughing because I thought it was that you read the nebula. It was a. It was a one. It was a one. I thought it was a nebula, but it seems the giant dice. Oh, oh God. <laughs> All right. Yeah.
wait till they give us the go ahead. Oh, where are you from? I live here. Me too. Yep. A bit good, you got it. All over the place. I just kind of started just playing like league type stuff, you know. So I don't have like a place. How about you? Uh, the Reagan. Yeah. Oh, you play Reagan. Yeah. Cool. I've been. I played one uh, store championships there. That was in February, or whenever that was. Wow. Well, at least we're we're keeping it in Seattle, you know. I have eaten ten cupcakes. I haven't either. I have had two cookies in a day. <laughs> oh, the sacrifices we make. What are you playing, sir? What, what IDs are you playing? What am I playing? Uh, um, Nui and... Uh, yeah, maybe. In the age. In the age? Cool. the side. D12, okay. I've lost every one today, so we'll see if that continues. It's been auspicious for me, at least. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, you, you want to roll high rolls. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. No, you're fine. Yeah, so now you hit. Wait for the four match. Yes! I believe it. Four match. Yeah. I know. I really uh, want to go to the concerts. Then I should time. Okay. Uh, we'll do 65 uh, matches uh, and uh, 35. Uh, so uh, at most they'll be here. Uh, no. We're talking right, these are going to be timed, so it's going to be 65 minutes for your first two games. If there's a need for a third, it'll be a 35 minute match. So if time is called, it's over ahead on agenda points. You told me to keep shuffling. I'm shuffling. So do you mind restarting the timer? Oh yeah, Do you mind if I use these? What? Do you mind if I use these? Yep.
still working on it, but I'll look him for resolve mulligans. I'm gonna resolve mulligans. Yeah, resolve yeah. mulligans. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll wait. We'll wait for them. <laughs> Alright, sorry about those technical difficulties. This is what happens when you're in a public space and people keep bumping your sh stuff. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so take your credit You back. guys are not on. Yeah. We're going to have Scott Silby and Raj Giri join us for some commentary again. Welcome to us. Yep. Hello again. Uh, if you're just catching up, uh, it looks like first turn awesome. Alex oversighted to Janice and then Clint had. Uh, a heck of a draw, he had David in hand and installed David and killed the Janus, denying Alex a lot of money first turn. Oh, get more hype about that, Raj. That was an amazing play. Yeah, that was an amazing play. Uh, I'm not sure where Alex is from. Clint is from Seattle. I've actually played against him, I guess, a couple of times here. Both well, extremely nice gentlemen. Alex rocking the big fat yellow dice again. Yep. Cash. The, that right there, Scott Selby, is the card that made Noise vi viable again. Cash. Excellent. Well, I uh, I never played Noise too much. Oh, he's great now. He's, a, he's one of the best runners now. <laughs> yeah. I never liked uh, the way he looked. Kind of like a, it's like a punk. So, uh, if that happens again, we're going to have to do I much prefer someone uh, sophisticated. Should be okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, bro, was he giving a second warning? Clint here is misplaying his clicks, so that was a second warning for you astute viewers at home. I was told by our fearless judging panel. Yeah, so that's why the Aesops went back, uh, I guess, on top of the deck. Getting those final game camera jitters, I see. Just relax, Yeah, playing. it's good to keep track of uh, other's clicks. I think I actually try and do that a lot more as Corp nowadays, to keep track of runner click. So it's very easy to just accidentally take a click as runner. Um, I also try and keep track of my own. I'm not a big fan of the no-click tracker. I kind of think they should make that a rule, but that's just me. I've uh, I've used mahjong tiles in the past. Uh, adding the 3D element to the click tracking helps because you can put them on end 
during your click and then flip them over when your click is complete. I guess this is where I start. Mills another one of the data suckers. Go check out what he has, either make him pop the jacks or see what's going on. Does have Scorch in hand. We do know Alex Leck earlier, who scorched out Ben Finkel in the semifinals. Does have a Scorch in hand. And they got two, looks like an Oaktown and an NEPD in there. Best part of playing Oaktown re renovation is yelling out, Oaktown, when you play it. <laughs> so it looks like he's taking back two agendas and a Janus. Archives with the Jackson. Oh, look at that stupid shuffling. Final match here in Seattle, Washington. Pax Prime. Cascade Collective TV. Clint running noise. First game of their match. Alex running Blue Sun. Scorch Blue Sun, as we saw earlier. Clint looks to be running a fairly standard noise build. Assuming he's running wild side pancakes. Uh, I would think so. Uh, I guess we haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen his hand. Alex covers up. Uh, he's got the archives. Engine going then. Sets up a remote. And installs into said remote. So tell me about this new card that uh, is making noise all the rage. Cash? Oh, it's a uh, so it's a virus. But and when you install it. I wouldn't call it a new car. Yeah, I guess it came out actually many packs ago. Came out a while ago. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, last I'm a couple right. cycles back. Yeah, so uh, when you install you, it costs one, You can it has three counters, you take the counters off uh, as a paid ability to gain a credit. And then with noise, you can just ace ops at the next turn to also uh, get three more. Hmm. And if you have Grimoire, it comes with another virus counter. So there are ways to get you know, seven credits and one cloak out of it. And you mill a card. I like it. He was doing that before the last click. Okay. So he didn't bounce back the Adonis, so I guess he's looking to protect it. Faust nowadays. Uh, which Scott, I'm not sure if you know. About. No, no idea. Uh, Tell Scott Sylvia what Faust is. Uh, I guess we I should see if Clint's actually playing it, but regardless. Uh, so Faust is a two strength AI. Oh, there it is. Uh, two strength AI uh, icebreaker. But uh, to boost it by two strength, you pitch a card, and then break a subroutine, you pitch a card. Oh, wow, I so, like that. So with Wild Side, you draw a bunch of cards, then you can break stuff with no money. Or with very little money. It's like taking net damage. Yeah, so it's uh, great as noise because it lets you just uh, attack remotes really quickly and really easily. Clinton runs into Caduceus, which zero link noise is not a fun card to run into. Take pays for the first race. Yep. Well, Sees no, no. Does not have enough money to trash Christium Grid. And whiffs on R&D. Street Peddler, uh, which is uh, nice. It lets you host the next three cards of your, your stack face down. Mm. You can instant install them at a one cost discount. Much well, more. You, you install one of them, you trash the other two. 
So. Much more useful than the, uh, the usual street peddlers you find. <laughs> uh, that, that is true. This one doesn't try to murder you usually. Raj, now that that was a bit much. <laughs> they're they're just you know usually don't have much useful bits. Oh, there's one side, so that's a strong. So what is he hosted on uh, Street Pillow? I thought I saw Clunchip, Utopia Shard. I didn't see the third card. Possibly a good eye, Raj. Good eye. I'm just halfway glancing this. No points the board. Jackson sacked. Blue Sun gets set up. And noise being annoying noise. Alex just making money. Does join a mimic, which you will deal with a caduceus now. Donald's just ticking down. I'm assuming Alex will probably take it back next turn if it ticks down one more time. Drops uh, wild side, so. Goes to the club. Installs wild side. It's going to be dancing every turn. So that'll happen? Presumably he's going to try and find the pancakes card. Pancakes? Yeah, so there's this card adjusted chronotype. That's, uh, so first time you lose a click, you gain a click back. So it works really well with wild side. Uh, All right. But the, we call pancakes because the art on it's this. Uh, right. I, I don't know what it is. It's a lady making pancakes. Yeah, it's a lady making pancakes. So it's something like it's a genetics card. I don't. Re I don't really know the theme. Genetic pancakes. Yeah. It's Gene. <laughs> so Alex now noise in on three clicks. Alex. Oh, I guess because sitting up on money. Because you're. <laughs> Sorry. I was distracted by. Um, now's this chance. Of, you can probably try to sneak out some agendas right here. Yeah. Noise low on money is a good opportunity for him. Something down there. Uh, it looks like an Adonis. He's got a sea source, it looks like. Yeah. So I think he's trying to, yeah, I mean, he's trying to bait him into a run. But I know he's only at five cards because of wild side. Do we know if these two uh, guys have played previously today I in the uh, Swiss been, rounds? No, they, were they have not pods. played each other. They have I think everyone's been, everyone we've seen in these last rounds have been a. Uh, oh yeah, the pods. yeah the leaders of the pods. Yes. It does have the breaker, it has the cards right now, but does not have the money. I think they're back on board. There's another cash. Installs cash. There's a card, and he'll immediately take his money. And that cash is a uh, criminal card. It's a criminal card. It's a one cost virus that you install, put three uh, tokens on it, and you can use those hosted counters to gain a credit. Interesting that a criminal card was what made noise. I think it'd be, too, it'd be kind of ridiculous if it was, if it was an Anarch card. <laughs> so that was it. Checks out the remote, look at the trash. I think it's his Adonis again. That's Enigma. Bounces off Enigma, a little Enigma, put it in work. Yep. Isn't there a little Enigma that's even smaller than Enigma? It's called Quandary. Get it? Quandary and Enigma? That's it. Quandary. On there. Is there a big Enigma yet? It's called Tolbu. <laughs> uh, it looks like he oversights a curtain wall. Says curtain wall. I do not think Clint has another David in hand to put into that shenanigans. Uh, Builds up on HQ. The one catches. I think if uh, so, Clint has that clone ship on Street Peddler, so he can kill the the curtain wall. Or you, or you can do he that. Does have a David? <laughs> Ruining his oversight. A yep. plans. Poor Alex Black. Clint doing the right thing, keeping Blue Sun off of money. They love their oversights. Doesn't look like you got anything special milled off yet from those viruses. So under there, oversight ice, some ice. He does I believe have a high risk investment in his hand. It's the only gen that's been showing so far. Each player inspecting their respective heaps. 
Discard Stady Shard. It's like it's 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 a, it, that's an interesting discard. Especially as noise. So is noise prominent enough that people have been tucking in Cyberdex trial? That's uh, not really. Oh, uh, good lord, Scott Sylvie. <laughs> we have a new Cyberdex now. Yeah, there's a Cyberdex virus speed. Oh, nice. Uh, it's an upgrade that does the same thing, but you can do it as a paid ability. So, uh, yeah, but they're doing that primarily for Clot, because Clot's a virus. Yes. Well, it's good to know their uh, fans fly is thinking of us. That's a bit. Quinton Nick over Jackson. Still has Adonis taken down. Clint has not dealt with it yet. Then Waylon get up on money. Doing a good job of destroying his oversight ices, but Adonis is about to pay out twice over already. Checking the heap, looking to see what he can possibly clone ship, see if he's protected, make some safe runs. Presumably Alex is trying to find the, the first Atlas, because once he if he can overscore that early, then that sets him in a pretty that puts him in a really good position, especially if he's playing Seas Horse. Okay. There we go. And there's Scott as the pancakes card. Oh, I see. Just a prototype, she's making pancakes, as you can see in that picture. Pancakes, of course, not uh, great for those of you on the uh, low carb diet. No carb runners. But don't let that stop from playing it in noise, where appropriate. So Clint got a lot of tools in his hand. Deja vu back all his caches, make some more money. Still has Faust in his hand. Street Peddler is still sitting with three cards on it. And thank you yeah, for I think tuning the confusion in. is he's just a, he just played the prototype. And, okay. and thank you again all for tuning in. We are in game one of the finals here at PAX Prime, Seattle, Washington. We're enjoying your lovely evening, night, wherever it may be, morning, perhaps some of you folks on the other side of the world. Noise being noise, just a blue sun installs, mimic. So we start poking around. Slight protector, the mimic and a data sucker. Uh, Alex takes back Adonis. So there he goes. Adonis has paid out twice already. And stick it out again. Oh, there's that. There's that the Alice. Alice. Yep. Jackson is looking up maybe agendas. Build these agendas away. Looks like he has a spider web there. That'll, that'll be really helpful. The spider web is. Pretty annoying to break with with Faust, yeah, and I think the noise decks nowadays uh, I, they don't really need to play Corroder because uh, David gets you can wrap around. He does have a Corroder in hand. He does. Okay. Most does Faust decks are running two Fausts, one Corroder, one yes. Mimic. Okay. I was gonna say no Corroder. Jesus, what's happened? So the spider webs over R and D. Set up secure remote. Looks to throw away that atlas. Get rid of some agendas. Head kicks. I felt like he was looking at ace ups, but you can't ace up such a draw. Actually, never twice. That's sorry. Installs cash, miss more cards, makes some more money. Good ace up spotter for next turn. Still sitting on zero points. It's a battle of setups here. Alex needs to get moving though. His noise is gonna wear you out like crazy. Smell your deck.
Alex looking to start scoring, put some pressure on the runner. He's yeah, not on any so. res, but sitting on a ton of money. Yeah, I think you can try and uh, install an advancing Atlas. Install Sedonis uh, again, maybe trying to make more or looking to make the run, make the runner waste some resources. Okay. Covers up HQ some more. Gets rid of exactly boot camp and gives him the karate shot pass. <laughs> There's Faust. There's Faust. Faust, uh, of course, a nod to that old German folktale of the same name. <laughs> Faust, isn't that a New York term, actually? Like, hey, look at that car. That car's going real Faust over there. Well, the, uh, the, the origination of Faust is, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the man who made a deal with the devil. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> the, the old right Faustian bargain. <laughs> right over his head. Clean across. So, checking out board states. No, he's getting a real good position. Imp out, mimic out, data sucker, Faust. Is that his cap memory? It's not his grimoire art yet, it's not drawn into it. Got pancakes going. So if you wanted to deja vu back something, you could not install it. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, it was a... Uh... Alright, Joe, I just got that. How dare you? There we go. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> makes you feel better. For some reason I've gotten into wrestling later and some of my favorite characters are these New Yorker guys called Enzo Amore and Big Cass. <laughs> I'd love to hear them speaking standard English. Oh, they talk in a subtle New York accent. Standard right? American English. They're both from Jersey. Oh no, Jersey. A bunch of, a bunch of heathens in Jersey. Oh, doesn't, there, don't, doesn't New Jersey and New York get along? Oh, back to the gate. Checks out the remote after many card counting. Hive. Insults Hive. Does have all five super teams. Hive is an absolute nightmare for Faust. Definitely. Take a minimum of five cards. Check Street Peddler. Nothing's going to help you there. Does have Corroder in hand, so might install Corroder and go back. Actually, get a turn. turn. And back comes Adonis. The gift that keeps on giving. So I think in this case, if he, if he wipes fire high. saves, that puts him in a decent spot. But he also just try and score out. Draws him to another executive boot camp. Oh, so this isn't a normal boot camp boost set. We do know he has scorches. He scorched out Ben Finkel last game in a double scorch corp game to each other. Draws, draws him to high, high risk investment. I believe he has two of those in the hand. Installs boot camp. I'm going to stick that high back somewhere. It's like he's sticking high in front of the Adonis. Here comes up Adonis again. Wants his money. He's going to have to like down. He is. Looks like he's definitely trying to go, to go the scorch route. Yeah, I think so. Not too concerned with scoring agendas right now. Well, if he draws into a second Scorch, then he's in a good position. It's uh, currently a Sea Source and Scorch in the game. And this thing about Pancakes is not let Noise Dex run, I've had worse. So he doesn't really have any true Scorch protect protection. Holy, he just aced off Mimic. My mind is just blown right now. Uh, that'll make our. I mean, if there's still Caduceus on R&D, right, that'll make... Maybe it just protects you from so much, especially yeah. he does have two data second counters. Yeah. I feel it's a bad play, but we'll see how the game pans out. We'll see what happens. Checks out that new remote. It's our good friend Enigma again, Scott. Love that Enigma. Still a staple of many a decks. Quality, straightforward ice. A lot of those core cards still see massive play. Sign of a good good game design in the course. Pitches, clot, medium, break through, and then 
Let's gonna use boot camp and see what he gets. It's Jackson. Already taken the adopt. In attendance, we got Brian Williams and Chris Hinks from also from New York overwatching the match. Chris Hinks, a well known player from New York, very good Jinteki player. I've lost to him uh, a few times. See, top deck the Scorch, it looks like. Oh, they just fire off the sea source. Uh, I see some Clint's gonna try and clutch it out something to, uh... Oh, this could be... Uh, I don't know. Did Clint make a run last turn, though? Yeah, I don't think he did. Wait, did he or didn't he? Hey, Ian! Ian! Pardon me, never mind. Yeah, he did run that boot camp. Yeah, the boot camp. We just got the clarification. It's those, it's those four hats throwing us yeah. off. They're doing the math. Yeah, I, I had to figure that out. That's why I asked him yeah. what he had done. Um, that's used to... So I'll put in... 13. 10. To make it a tracer. 30, yeah, 3, and Clint 3, does have a shard on the street pedal. No he he okay. should have run a pop in yeah, right after so he takes his tag. Trace, uh, uh, 13. <laughs> I love that uh, sea source math. Actually, I was uh, playing a game back in New York, and uh, Chris Hinks walked me through it. Helped me win that game. Well, I think so. Clint has the Utopia shard on the pedal. Yeah, because that. Right, so that's the other thing. So this is if memory serves. Does take the tag? Yep, and there. Why is he? He takes, uses Street Peddler. Because uh, if he has a Utopia shard. There we go. He's at the shard. He's going to cost him some credits, and I'm assuming he will pop that shard. Yeah. See if he can get those scorched in his hand. Six credits, excuse me. Let's see what he gets. 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Look at all those cards. He gets the Atlas. He doesn't, he gets, he doesn't oh. get to access. Oh. oh. I mean, well, probably about that. I'd like it to be that card. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Little, but Alex is okay with that. Are you the sad trombone for punch? Okay. And I show you. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> what is going? Late game tournaments. This is what happens. Everyone just keeps messing up everything. Scorch. Scorch. No. That looks good. I'm not bad at I'm not bad at work. You might. He's not a Iron Horse and gets the second Scorch, and that is game, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Black holding off, biding his time, and does get the Scorch. Jumping in our next game, a little something. What is nowadays the classic matchup? Alex is playing Kate, and Clint's playing Near the Hub. I mean, do you want to play the next game or not? Well, you want to play the next game? I'm curious to see which Nero, though. Yeah, this being Seattle, you never know. We'll let you guys do it. We'll let you change. If I had to guess, it's Nero Thub with three coming out. Some other stuff? I don't know. There might be some other stuff. Email me, I'll send you something else. Alright, I'm down. I'm down. Set up for the second game. Alex Black, Quinn, Sibisa, Sibisa. Sibisa. Guys, also a little bit of a winner of this game. I can get a dad, a neck dad, and back to the game. Cool. Ian Birdsall, so generous to the prize. Gotta love that Ian Birdsall. Right, not necessarily. Hopefully, for me. Man, these guys are talking real loud. Ian Birdsall, of course, the. Uh, Fantasy Flight Games rep here at uh, PAX, running the tournament. A lot of noise from the Floral Head people in the back. So I'm not sure if he's playing Indian Fast Advance or Standard Butcher Shop. Clint Mulligan. Huh? Roger Scott, did you see you taking I, Mulligan's I yet? I didn't. We were talking to Ian briefly. But, well, looking from Clint's hand, I guess we already know what it's when he's playing yeah, Architects, way. Biotics. It's pretty oh, standard. It's, it is fast. So it's which uh, variation fast of, uh, <laughs> of the Near Earth are we looking at? Oh, this is, this is straight up Near, near Earth of Biotics. Just fast. Fa is faster, faster than fast. So no score shenanigans here. We got regular old fast fans. Yeah. Uh, but fortunately, that's actually, if, uh, if you play it right, that's actually a really good matchup for this Kate deck. Mm. Well, I'm glad to hear we may have uh, a longer game to commentate. Maybe. Most likely be a shorter. Yeah, this will. Uh, I red all right, I, I redact to my statement. It looks similar. Astrolabe and it's all SMC. Doing it in the correct order, getting his discount, and not wasting that discount on SMC. For all you newer players out there, that's how you want to do it. Oh, Clint, let's see what she got there. Hedge funds, it's architects. architects on R&D. He has two Jacksons in hand, so he can dig like crazy for what he needs, just to make some money. Other than that and, he has, and he has Biotic, so... Does have a Biotic hand. Does not have any money ticket down, which is 
what NBN likes to have as well. Alex Black, what do you got in your hand? So we do know he's running a Cyber Cipher variant of Kate McCaffrey. We're running an Escher, a solo stim hang, which you like to do. Has a plan screen. I wonder, he does not know if Clint's running Butcher Shop yet, so. Still holding on to that. Might install it just from his last experience with Harpscorn. The one thing is, I guess, if Alex runs um, R and D, like as soon as he sees one res ice, and usually you can get a decent idea. Depending, well, it depends on the ice. But I mean, if he sees architecting, he knows instantly that he can just storm straight ahead and start like working like crazy. Very. So that is a good tip, though. Like, for, especially for you newer players, when you're running decks, count up the influence. You know what you see. That's inf information is power. Helps you figure out what you're playing against. Gives you the tools you need to survive. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe. <laughs> so dirty laundry is archives. I. It's interesting. I might have tried to get a data sucker with this. Going for the straight up blind legwork. Two SMCs out. Oh, uh, easy old pop up window. So Alex will clearly see what Clint's rocking here. EG, Biotic, so yeah. So that's actually, he didn't score, but that's really great info. Now Alex knows exactly what he's playing against. It's all Miss Jones. Which sometimes can be a weird choice, because end man you gotta be fast. Especially with prepaid Kate. Not a lot of prepaid are in Katie Jones. Yeah. And near top, you gotta get at them fast, especially if they're running fast events. And Kenny Jones just takes too long for you sometimes. And misclass again in the, in the wee hours. Yeah, I think he tried to take an extra click. See, dirty laundry and then leg work. Or, and then it's. <laughs> well, he's on the, uh, Kyle James tries to take extra clicks on me all the time. Hey, watch that kid like a hawk. <laughs> Final round, zero to zero. NBN making much money. Here in Seattle, Washington at PAX Prime. Once again, I am Mizuki Joe. We got Grog Boxer and Scott joining us. Hey, everyone. Hello. So Clint, covering that remote, I did not see what he installed on that Jackson. Was it a Sand Sand? Uh, I didn't see, but I I would put my money on Sand Sand. I do love how those beautiful Lotus Field playmats look on camera. They look amazing. Debut of the Lotus Field Playmats here on Cascade Collect TV. Bringing you the finest in that runner coverage and utmost professionalism. Alex trying to get board, sitting on three credits. No uh, free pays out yet. Probably would have. Make some money off the dirt of the Andrew Ronda archives. Puts money on Miss Jones. The naked run on the rope. No, no, it just takes credit. Take Beal. And he does have Beal in hand. Has a biotic. Doesn't want to waste that biotic on a little Beal. Another pop up. Feel free to check out our YouTube channel. These videos will be posted on YouTube as well, along with when I finish editing in them. The regionals coverage from Portland, Vancouver, and Seattle. I'm very excited to uh, see this on YouTube. 
as soon here. as Joe edits out my voice and uh, cleans up the... Uh, oh, these are going up as is. So all the ridiculous comments we make, you're going to be there unedited. It draws into a fast track. It doesn't obviously want to fast track when he's not protected in, there in HQ. Gets rid of Sid Fatrack. That's that's interesting. Let's see on one agenda. Gets rid of Sansan. San. Interesting color. Alex draws into another Astro Lee. Draws again. Click two. He had a clone chip. Like a sharpshooter. SMC. Cyber Cipher. Second clone ship free. Pass the turn. So NBN not being as fast as NBN would like. He draws another deal, it looks like. Yeah. I think at this point, I don't know, I guess I'd be tempted to just try and score out the deal on that server. I mean, if I, the thing is, if Alex has to burn both of those SMCs, then you know you can clock the next turn. Well, yeah, I guess he's sort of in a hard place. Yeah, Beal, not the first or second uh, agenda you want to see in Fast Advance. So it's Pad Campaign, and gets into the Jackson. Has two Beals in hand. Not what Clint wants to see. Almost we start to just Jackson out those Beals and try to pull the Astro. Stalls Tollbooth over the remote. Three ice deep, a lot of ice down, not the most money in the world. That's 17 credits. Or, six, or 16, if I could count. Look at a discard. Jeez. Not a whole lot of a deal, this. Back to the runner. Runners get set up. Shape it's real soon when they get skid up. Checks, checks out the remote. Sees the pad campaign. Ops not to trash it. Usually it's a good idea to wait till the corp reads that pay yeah, campaign so before you trash right. it. Decided not to poke around too much. Gone are the days where a classic runner tag was just a run night crazy. Nowadays, a lot of times it pays to be a little more, more patient. You don't need to have to run all the time. But you do have to make um, meaningful runs. Would you agree, Raj, Grog, Boxer, Geary? Yeah, I think that's a pretty accurate assessment. Especially, well, that's particularly true of the cape deck. You can't just do the old Andy thing of uh, set up and then run every turn until you win. Discard Cyber Okay. I think if I were, well, I mean, it helps I can see Clint's hand, but I think if I were Alex, I would probably start at least hammering HQ. I mean, Clint's not installing anything in that remote. That means he's either jammed up on ice or he's jammed up on non asterisks We know he's got those agendas in there. Looks so. like another NAPD. No, that's, that's an NAPD. So he has an APD and I guess two fields. Sweet. I still think he's missing Astro. So Clint uh, basically bluffing that he doesn't have those agendas in HQ by not putting any more ice on there. Not sure what he just, I think that was an NAPD contract that so just went in. Went in the Both trash. players 
biding their time. Not a whole lot of action going on. I think Alex has money now, so he can start once he... I don't think he's drawn a, another good run event, but he has a diesel, so he'll be able to do that. And then, uh, uh, depending on what he draws, he might be able to either make his eyes or hit HQ. All right. Down three agendas in archives, looks like. Two Bills and uh, NAPD. Yeah. Still looking at that first Astro. They want to score that first Astro. Jackson's them away after the run on so Arcade. Let's see if uh, Lady Luck will uh, get to Clint on the second run through his deck. Good old Lady Luck. That's the second uh, major shuffle. Such a cruel temptress, that Lady Luck. And we are in a packed, 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 packed ballroom. Say that five times fast. Yeah. Of the wee hours, board games like crazy, card games like crazy, Netrunner tournament finishing up, an epic card game tournament, a magic tournament about to get started, and a uh, fresh the from New York just too. walking by. A fresh, a fresh, I don't know how you say that. We're at the majestic and magnificent uh, Olive Eight Hotel here in Seattle. So Alex chooses to install the flash screen. Oh, did he just draw another Beal right off the top? Hmm. Which is weird, because he saw most of the Beal He saw the biotic earlier. Right? You have nothing to fear, Alex Black. Scores the B off uh, Sansan. San. Yeah. So that gives Alex some good info. I mean, among other things, there's no Astro in hand, so all the Astros are in R&D still. Uh, now Alex has to do that Sansan, San, which is always a pain to do with. No amp, costs five credits. And not doing the best of money, does not have his prepaids out. Has money taken out of Kitty Jones, so we can afford to take the tempo hit from Sansan. San. Draws him to a levy, not a lot of use for him right now. I think like draws in a quality time, still not getting what he needs. Not what he wants to see. That's plenty of options to deal with that server, but so he's, he's attacking the Sansan server. You gotta you gotta deal with it. In the Sansan server, or if you can R and D log. Checking out his heap. I mean, he has to deal with it, but on the other hand, I mean, this is the best, one of the best case scenarios for Alex is that Clint spent money to use the Sand Sand and only got a Beal out of it. But, so put Alex real far back. Where's Runs Ichi? into Ichi. Interesting choice. Lose both SMCs. Yeah, and he has two clone chips. It's not the worst thing. No, yeah, not a huge deal at all. Yeah. Interesting res by Clint. I guess maybe wants to slow him down a sec. Get rid of some of his options. And then it's with clone chips. And they're going to fire the trace. That's trace one, trace two. Yep. Link one. Not an issue. Deciding if he wants to continue or not. Two clone chips on. Enigma. Ooh. He's gonna pop out Sai Sai. Easily break the Enigma. I'll pay to trash that Sansan. San. Probably put money on Kitty Jones for his last click, and he does. Gonna build up that bankroll again. Trash is the Sand Sand. I, if I'm not mistaken, that's two Sand Sands in the trash. That is two Sand Sands in the trash. Mm -hmm. 
Let's do another bad campaign. So we have to assume Clint has a third San San in his deck. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. If you would like a third San San, then uh, go over to Uncle's Games and get that third core set. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that, Scott. <laughs> with Architect, I don't remember what the first one is. So, it's not unique like, well, in Architect, but it's kind of in at this point. So, it's just to ship Sansan. It's an easy bite, I got that other feel, but it's not what he's looking for. Probably regretting throwing away that Sansan. Fifteen minutes left in this round. Long game for NBN. Not what they want to see. I guess it's been kind of a strange game because uh, Clint has not drawn Astros, and Alex has had trouble drawing prepaids or a lot of a lot of other economy. And I don't think he's seen a Makers Eye yet, has he? Happy to see a long game after all. I believed, and uh, I'm good to enjoy more Netrunner, or at least a slower Netrunner. Takes the cape on him. Is the cape pulling up Katie Jones? Oh, and taking it back, which Clint to buy a stew. That's the other package. Check us anything to the viewers out there, Ian Birdsall. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Ian Birdsall says, thanks for watching. Organized play fella. All around great guy. Got to eat some nice fried man. food from Minnesota. <laughs> Coming from the great... Not great everything mix. is fried. We just happen to have a state fair going on right now where everything is fried. But that is not a good representation of the food in the Minneapolis area. It's like one of the stereotypes that happened... You know, there's a stereotype for a reason. Yeah, they're, they're the same stereotype of Texas, but the catch is that it's true. <laughs> That's like saying we don't have hipsters in abundance in Portland, Seattle. No, we do have deep fried sushi, but I'm not going to... It's delicious, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> well, I should, should say, say sushi. The deep fried California. So he's jacking a... Let's see, it's Roseville, Sansan, I think they put sweet, everything fast in the immediate fast fantasy flight area. I was actually surprised by the early discard of the fast track. Um, because I could have gotten his Astro out early once uh, Alex had already played the legwork. And then he could have just installed, I think he had a wraparound at the time to try and protect HQ. I would have sent Alex back a little bit on the economy and then he could have scored the Astro out. But it's an interesting line, line of plays. There are a lot of different options you could do with any age. That was the hotel room moving a giant card over my boards. This is a place by Attic first. That's the, the clot. Oh, Alex waiting. Look at the clock. Saying he will have an ability if the second advancement. Ah. 
the Clint Scores deal out first. And he's shipping from Sansens! Okay, nullifies so that clock! I think at this point, so Clint's at two. Uh, he's at four. He's at two credits. Oh, gosh, gotcha. So, Four points. Yeah, but what I mean is he biotic out a second deal. So clearly the Astros are still in R&D. So I think start hammering he should just hammer R&D. Yeah, exactly. You but know, he does And he, draw, he, he has a maker's eye. I think I would maker's eye blind right now. Yeah, if Alex loses against a uh, backwards fast advance deck, it could be a new archetype emerging here. <laughs> Lady makes okay. less if you first scared it. I suppose that's in case we wrap around the team. Has he made one run on uh, R and D this no. entire game? No, he has not. And the thing is, actually, it, uh, so Clint will be able to rest the first two eyes. I think. Yeah, I think Alex needs to be so. Base. Takes the credit. Why does he take the credit? Just that he's getting stuffed by a pop up window. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I, I think I, yeah, you need to take the credit. You take Pretty credit. sure it's another pop up window over there. Any maker's eye blinds, just like Raj Guess. Mm -hmm. gets stuffed by the pop up window. Yeah. Is there got a toll booth? He's got an architect. Long last. So he's in. Yep. Boom. There is the Astro. It's not what the plane wants. So Alex Black on the board, stealing the agendas he wants to steal. This gets another stance in, installs it in his remote. Takes a couple bucks. So he does have enough money to raise Architect now. I do not think Clint took his pad camp when he last turn, did he? You're not going to keep them out, but it'll hurt. Yeah, I think so. Of 
quality times, probably I'm trying to find more either I guess burst econ or just a maker's eye. This baby, is, that's that's lots of econ there. Yeah, I would be I would be hoping for more maker's eye. I don't think he has any event recursion in his deck, does he? There's usually one same old. Play. Well, you have to because Levy is in the Kate deck. Sure, so sure. There's usually just one same old thing nowadays. Sometimes two. Trying to take down NBN and NEH. Alex Black just needs one more win to become the champion. Trying to get something going. Clint not getting the fast advanced tools he needs. So has the tools, just not getting the agendas. Debating the an architect fire? Both players feeling the sting of fatigue nipping at their heels. As Alex puts his head into his hand as he tries to do math, do a hacker's duty and get into their servers. All right, I'll stop. So he breaks both and then you jack out. Interesting. Very interesting. So it looks like they're having a clock discussion. discussion. He actually does not have a window. He still gets his advanced. It's a breaking news, so it's right? Like he so yeah, he, he can that. install advanced res, and he's still in his window. And I mean, they score that. Oh, okay. Is it a two-pointer? Yeah, sure. I have a Breaking news. So I got a 
Play around this time in windows. Clint doing a good job of knowing when and when he can't score. And kills his Katie Jones. Puts it back on Eakin wise. Uh, I mean, Alex does have the. Only had three credits on it. And he is lucky fine. Okay. Alex Black in a real bad spot right now. We might be going to get game three, boys. I think so. And trying yeah, to find a way to. Gotta be thinking about the game three. That breaking news is putting Clint up uh, close to a win. There. That's there's a maker's eye there. Exactly. There's a stance and lucky finds could make her sign there now with this last click. Got to keep Clint from getting the last agenda. Don't think he has it in hand. Yeah. Says one click left. Clint jumping the gun here. I had a credit. I'm just mad at myself because I had enough to break it and access, and I, just because they're different, I just invest in some serious credits. Uh, I think at this point, well, Alex Black, are good. If you can hear one camera, he's limiting his choice of dice as credits, yeah. as <laughs> should most of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, use whatever you want. Yeah. There's only one correct answer, though. And he is going to make her sign his last click. So click can't rest told this. Or he can, but I, you know, I suppose he could. There's an architect. Looks like he's going to res Actually, architect. the toll booth would be fine because he gets two from back here. Absolutely res that toll booth yeah. right now. I mean, it's kind of, I thought he only had seven credits uh, for a second, but no, he clearly Checking out his ice. The other thing is, this is the last click. Resing toll booth is the right yeah. call. Or, I mean, he can res, actually, the architect, well, he's going to break the architect. He's, he's going to break the architect. Out. Is not red. Really? NAPD. Scores NAPD. Scores that NAPD. Hard 5 4, back into it. How does this work if it is? Yeah, for us, I won the first game. Nice, just let him play out. They're saying they're almost at time. I feel it's fun around, just let him play it out. Not something you expected to see is Kate NEH by Alex go to time. Not at all. Oh, does he get it right here? Does not have. He does have a clunch about. Could SMC out the clock? Do you have the NAPD Install. Just a clot. Yeah, he's gonna have to dump some program. Yeah, but he can dump Cyber Cipher. That's no problem. Cyber Cipher. Yeah, but Cyber Cipher is the only hand gets him that enigma. Space two. And there you go. Brings out clot. Slot the clot. Hashtag. Well, it's got to be feeling he's going to do that. Where's the body? Yeah. Oh, was that his last turn? That was... That was last turn? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the game has gone to time. Forces the game three! We're going to continue going, ladies and gentlemen. Clint and Alex are fighting out in the final rounds here at PAX Prime. Gonna randomly roll to see what they get. So, uh, Picks a time win, but it's gonna be a clean win, it looks like. Going to the third game. Yeah, Uncle James is gonna. Or maybe not that much. Uncle, Uncle James is sending whoever wins the data. <laughs>
Quick bio break, and we're back into the final, final, final match. Last match, still hanging in here. It's getting dark here on the West Coast. Real late for some of you folks on the East Coast. Scott and Raj still join me, hanging in there. Raj just stepped out, so he'll be back shortly, though. Yeah, which identities? Are they playing the same identities again, it looks like? I, I was about to ask you, did they roll off yet? I don't know. I see. Maybe he's going to get a clean out system before he jumps into it. Well, it looks like uh, Alex is committing to a uh, shuffle, which indicates that they will be playing the same identities. This, uh, the time for this match will be... 35 minutes, I believe, Ian said. Sure, I don't know. Somebody wins. So. The tinfoil hats seem to have dispersed. I believe they're sitting down. And we are back. See if we got a roll off. Final, final round. And Alex Black again. Looks like they are in the same IDs. No, I put the jacket on the wood. Clint on the right running. Near Earth Hub again. Alex Black, Kate Mack. See if he gets some better luck econ wise this town. See if Clint gets a better luck fast advancing. Looking to close this game early. The game went extremely long last time, which is a big surprise. Normally that game goes ridiculously fast. 35 minutes, one game. Winner take all. Not you. You. <laughs> Man, those Lotus Field playmats look nice on the camera. They really do. Stunning. Bigger. It's absolutely stunning. And they really make the cards pop. We are live here in the Pax Prime Ballroom at the Alameda Hotel, right next to the convention center. A massive convention, sold out convention to go to next door. There's a room packed full of board gamers and card gamers. A resistance tournament going on, about to start right in front of me, literally. Hopefully we can get out before those people are screaming and yelling at each other being spies. A lot of small, screaming and yelling at the resistance. Small world tournament going on, epic card game tournament going on, recent Kickstarter thing. There's like so many games, like board game heaven right now. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so winding down. Thank you all for staying with us. I imagine this game will be a much faster game than the last one. If you are in the Seattle area, even though PAX Prime is sold out, there are always badges available. They're never uh, bad, on the street from dubious characters. Let's films. say you weren't comfortable with that, you could always go to uh, Uncle's Games. Now with locations in uh, Bellevue, Redmond, downtown Spokane, Spokane and Tacoma. I highly doubt they In case you prefer to have your gaming somewhere else. I'm pretty sure they don't have badges. They don't need no stinking badges. Getting underway. Clint decides the mulligan. Alex looks like he kept. Beat of round one starts now. He takes his mandatory draw. Goes into Jackson. Looks like he's got a decent hand. It has a Jackson. Oh, and Alex actually oh, has a sweep sweep. Has one deal. <laughs> has ice. Probably going to sweep and cover up either, I'd guess, R&D against Shaper. Usually the right choice in the shaper. 
And he wisely covers up our ND. Alex Black will get a free look on HQ. Only one agenda sent in HQ, Project Beal. Finally gets his prepaid. He did not see a prepaid <laughs> at all last game. And yeah. gets his open hand. Prepaid, dirty laundry, lucky fine, SMC. Man, that's a, that's a really good hand. Yes. I see why Alex Black kept the. As long as he has, yeah, especially with the SMC, I think. It's all prepaid. Uses prepaid to find something lucky. Lucky fine. This goes to 11. This goes to 11. No, I can't count. I don't know what's going on. And leg work, so really? good chance of stealing it at agenda. Sees Jackson. Most likely will trash it. Does indeed trash that Jackson Howard. <gasps> Steals that Beal, the, the Beal. sole agenda in his hand. I think he should trash it. What is Cyberdex. That? Oh, so that's, cy that's Cyberdex virus feed. Uh, that's the, like, oh, the, the pain ability. Right. It's a trash virus. Decides to trash it so it doesn't yeah. have to deal with any of that clot shit yeah, again. Exactly. So the story of the game so far is Alex manages to draw what he wants in the early game. Clint, not so much. Rez's Daily Business Show, a very powerful card, Scott. If you want to fill him and what that does, Rush. Uh, it's a Daily Business Show at the beginning of your turn. Uh, it's when you draw a card, you draw an extra card and then put one card on the bottom of your uh, of R and D. Oh wow, that's so fantastic! It you, yeah, it's like a Mr. Lee for the court. Except you can stack them. If you have two, then it's uh, you see three and put two on the bottom. But and fantastic is the correct word to describe that card. We also would have accepted amazing, <laughs> or just annoying. regular annoying old great. Would also be a good one. <laughs> Decides he wants a slow remote. Covers. No. Makes us all out. Clint with the Seattle Deception Shuffle right there. Installs a new remote. Draws into an NEPD. It's also a rage cube. Rematch of last game, already doing so much better. The Dirty Laundry's Daily Business Show. Why is he kills the Daily Business Show? We've got a tinfoil hat right in front of us now. This one's an enforcer. This, is, this yeah, seems to be affecting the PAX employees. Very cute little tinfoil hat. Kills the business show. That's a good thing to get rid of now. Draws. So the SMC. Perfect. Gets that ash, that's exactly what he wants to see. Does not have the tools to use it now. Has an Astro, a breaking news, and an NAPD in him. Solves the remote, draws a card. It's a bad campaign. Oh man, it's gonna be a mess. If you were a new player, please come to this front table over here. Yes, sure, gamble, so you can do that. Goes up to 10. And there's about to be a resistance tournament here, which means it's going to get pretty loud in a second. Clint fishing for cards, it looks like. Can't wait till I get to walk around everyone with the equipment in the middle of a tournament. Oh, my mic's still on. Hello. The utmost professionalism here. High quality. Fix it in post. <laughs> Alex, big old there. So Clint, sitting on a, a rough hand, has a remote. Sitting on a big typical stack of agendas in his hand. Maker's Eye. We'll reconsolidate people as needed, all right? He has his crazy jumps. Again, for those of you who
does check out R and D. Fingers eye. A lot of genes in hand. He might not be too worried. Fast track. That's breaking news. It's like it's breaking news. At three points. Trying to close out this final game of the PAX Prime Icebreaker Tournament. Clint needs to find a way to dig himself out of this. Trying to get a fight back. Seeing a lot of agendas. And if any corp can't do it, it's near a hub. Fast advance it out. Can draw into what they need. Break that lock. I don't think Clint took his first game on Gets a fast track. Nothing of use right now. Draws again. See, so shipping from Sand Sand. So R&D will be a fresh look about the sides to go back. Covers up on R&D wisely. The other Netrunner players that we're watching have uh, long since gone. There Winding might be a couple people left. People. This match definitely down to the wire. We now have people approaching us asking about the Resistance Tournament. <laughs> hey, when you sit in front of a laptop, you look important at a table in the corner. Imagine if we were walking around the clipboard, too. It would really look real important. Looks like they have wine at the Resistance Tournament. This is uh, and so beer. Alex chooses to let Architect fire. Alright, he does fire. Looks like the top five cards. We cannot see what he has. Hopefully, that's just a hair too high. He's also reached Q. Puts some respect. What was that? Three agents in the game. Yes. The game is in hand or in there. Okay, so Jackson. Why does he want to Jackson right in this gym? You know, to be honest, because uh, I mean, Alex doesn't have a clone chip out yet. I, I don't know what the remote ice is, but I would probably just put the Astro on the remote. Well, actually, no, he has three cards. And if he steals the NEP, so he's on game point right now. Clint trying to find him to deal with this pressure. Alex making the money, getting what he needs. Insults Kenny Jones. I I don't think he need that right now. That he just, I feel that's a bit of a mistake. Take a while to click down. You just want to close this game out before her. time gets too much money gets to actually start scoring agendas. Well, she's going to start to Jackson out right now. Jackson's again. Agendas for days. So here's the problem. What is that, six agendas they count there? Is that his hand? That's his hand. <laughs> oh my. He's in our Well, he still has Howard to uh, get some of those out of there. Oh yeah, they'll be gone. He still has two. Oh, I'll probably break this stuff 
down, they can break that stuff down over there. Yeah, this all just seven. I could do some beer. She could buy some beers over this. But what are you guys doing over this? On a fat stack of credits now, and Alex Wagg, not so much. There's one clone ship, one prepaid, 10 credits, deciding if he wants to raise that first PCI ace, which looks like it's the, 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 an architect. It's a wrap around. Rep, 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 wrap around. Can't bring back Lady, no problem. Make quick work of the wrap around. Start burning out those tokens. Should be the toll booth right there. Yep. Man, that will stop him. Might pop. Does he have anything to pop this to do with? He just loses three and bounces. So everyone's broke now. Clint will have money pouring back in bad campaigns. Prepaid K doesn't have a that tough a time doing money. And hey, that Kitty Jones is looking pretty good now. Build up that economy again. <laughs> and Mr. Dan Dio Jenner wisely points out that he could have just pumped up his lady and just lost one instead of all three. The tiredness is, set, is setting in. Some resistance players setting up uh, by the cameras oh, and lights. Camera. I swear to so God, if someone uh, knocks over my shit again, I'm gonna freak out. Hopefully, their gesticulations shouldn't. Uh, Pax Prime, ladies and gentlemen. Raj and Scott, you're on commentary duties right now. Clinton's been jacking up since I've seen a bunch of ice. Do you remember what time this game started? Uh, 
I don't. I don't think they're in danger of time, you know? Let's get the five really quickly. I think, I think it's probably about 15 minutes left. Fair enough. Training archives, that's good. Makes our need a little better. Oh, it looks like he does have Cyber Cypher in hand. That'll let him deal with the full move. So he saw clone chip and mimic, and then he can stim hack into the uh, remote. Yeah, perfect. Oh, can we get a wit, wit via stim hack? That'd be he's very poetic. No, no. And all tournaments. Okay, I guess he's just normally running. It's a regular classic run. Let's click four, it looks like. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, because he took money off KD, then clone chip, then mimic, and now running. Did they do a stim hack in any of the other uh, matches? Uh, no, not, not so far. This could be a good kind so. of check. Okay. He has a stim hack in hand, though. All right. Just, uh, I'm wondering from the perspective of information Clint has. Okay. This has got enough money to keep mouth. Alex doing math. Math all over the place. Late night math. People are tired. I'm trying to see if you can get in there. Could both cyber ciphers. Doesn't look like it. Uh, 
So is he gonna punch? Yeah, he punches out Cyber Cipher. Okay. Pop Cyber Cipher. Let's pick two. Two more right. Keep it going. Not sure what kind of answer there. Enigma. Enigma. Definitely going to get It's only going to cost him one. Will he get in this? Trying to find that last piece of ice for game point. Wrap around. That's it. He's Alex in. Alex Black is our champion. Alex Black is your champion of the Icebreaker Terminator Pax Prime. Closing it out. Congratulations, Alex. I'm going to go find uh, myself a tinfoil hat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Good game, boys. Good game. <laughs> Thank you guys again all for tuning in. <laughs> Alex Black from Seattle wins. Wait, I think they're both from Seattle. Seattle representing for their stuff, but great game. Pulls it off the end. Rematch of the last game. Ran being uh, one on time. It was a little flooded, and Tried to fight back a little bit, but Alex gets in. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Here from Seattle, Washington. This will be up on YouTube and Archive and Twitch. Once again, as always, check out stimhack.com for all your Netrunner related resources. Thanks to Fantasy Flight, Uncle Games for having us here, Cascade Collective TV. My name is Bazooka Joe, and thank you for joining. Down. Oh, tokens. All right, folks, thank you again. Shutting it off in five, four, 